several ways that you can collaborate. One way is under the file menu, you go file, email collaborators. When you email collaborators, you can change the header like, hey guys, you are slacking, get to work. And then you can type them any message you want. Make sure this is done in time for the due date. And what's really nice about this is it will also automatically put the link to the to the presentation in the email that all the collaborators get, so all the people you're collaborating with will get a notification of your note, and they'll be able to link right back there like, oh, I forgot to work on that, and they can just click on it and start working on it. Go ahead and hit send. The other ways that you can work collaborate is you're going to hit comments in the upper corner. And when I hit comments, this is going to let me make comments on the whole document. This is looking great. I think we should have a slide with dogs. Hit comment. And so you can actually reply back and forth and have a discussion even though you're not live in person. And the other way that you can make comments is if you right click on any item, you'll notice that it has a comment option. This is a nice cat picture. I hit comment. And then if I click on this other cat picture, go to comment. This is the same cat picture. Would you like a different picture? So I'm able to leave comments. And actually, if my collaborator would come back in, they can actually reply, replying to myself. You can reply to each other, or all, you know, depending on how many you have, everyone can be replying to each other. Um, this is a great way for you to collaborate when you're not even able to be in person. And the last way is, uh, just make sure you understand that at the bottom is these are the speaker notes. So you're going to be giving a presentation. You might want to write down your talking points and things you're playing and talking about. You can actually raise this up and down to give yourself more and less room. So good luck.